Hello everyone. I'm very, very far from excited. Yeah, we're back on this game. It's very loud in my ears. Right, I'll turn there. That's more like it. I'll turn down here. Okay, so uh, none of you will know this, but I played Mafia 3. Uh, I really enjoyed it the first time I played it. And then going after the 100%, it ruined me. I absolutely hated it because I had to restart the game about three times. Uh, so now I'm back once again to actually get 100%. So I have 100% in the main game, but the expansion packs I don't have. I didn't have. Now I have them because they came free at one point, and it really sucks because I didn't expect to ever play them, and I really didn't want to play them. But here we are. Oh, it's exciting. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Like, where's my cars at? Do I have my cars? Do I have contacts? Do I have? play the expansion so I'm not here to do the main game anymore so um, I don't want to do Father Ted's yet and I don't want to do the voice yet I want to do Donovan's one no I don't want to discuss uh, Mercano's whereabouts who's this Is this the voice meet the voice that's the one I want to avoid at all costs where's Donovan at Meet Father James. Meet Donovan. This this the one, right? Yeah. Okay, so meet me when we get there and we'll actually start the game. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to go about getting any of the trophies. I'm just going to have a feel of the game for just now, so this is the introduction. Meet me when I get there. Okay, finally. Wait, hey. This looks like a nice place. I've never seen this place before. Are we going to go away, back into the past yet? I've never seen this place before. Where the fuck is Marshall? Is this Marshall? Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert yeah. Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. This is what I'm going to have to do to get a trophy. I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. I'm great fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle prod? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skip shit themselves. Well, I'll keep that in mind. Jeez. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little birdie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark skinned compadre. Let's go. Are we ever going to get to the actual game? Here we go. Are we going here? Find Balmana. Yeah, sure thing. Do I collect anything around these parts? I got. I can't trust that I. There might be like some sort of. Uh, is there a postcard? Do I get a postcard? What the hell happened here? Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Should we not take the axe and keep... Oh, God. God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? There's a note. What kind of sick fuck shoots up a... Each night my head hits the pillow, know that I am thinking of you, my love. My dreams are filled with images of your body, the sensation of my hands running up lo along your thighs, your hands on me, your lips meeting my lips. You are all I need, and no man, not your father, not Fidel, uh, will keep us apart for much longer, love. Shech. That's a little bit creepy. Well, maybe it's not, maybe it's lovely, yeah. That he won't break. Wow. Why I had to get away from him. And that life. I know I'm probably wasting a lot of time, but I am concerned I'll miss something. Hey, you 
you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? tilted. Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's uh, Brian. Hey, this fella down here has got his brains in his purple place. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he's a little off. Are these photos? No. Oh god, there's blood trail. Yes, we are upstairs, you idiot. There's a blood trail. This guy crawled here. Okay, nothing else. Cutscene! Which Over means there. problems. Meet Horatio Balmana. Shit. Well, at least we know he didn't do it. Really? What? <laughs> it's an Upman. <laughs> Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November '62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Sick. Where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Almana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here. Tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You alright? Uh huh. Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. A man! He was hiding. Great, a chase scene. Oh, did I get the sports car? Yay, get the sports car. I don't like chases. This is how you introduce me to the, the game. Don't let that cocksucker get away. Come on, not a chance. Get out! Why the hell you make the chase with this man? Alright, let's go. I've got good, eh? That wasn't a long chase. Come here. Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on, I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's a damn good bourbon, huh? Was well, that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Huh. <clears throat> so you think. Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. Uh, la gente me llama. Fernando. People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you... Don't forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yeah, so? So, the man we're at is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright, are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! Oh. You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Danny, the man who came in here, he was asking about a house. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then... He started screaming. Then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it. He, he, he told another man he used with that they need to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother. <laughs> uh-huh. That mean anything to you? Pedro Pong's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Are we ever going to get to where we're supposed to be? Keep our pal here oh, this is cool. Your place? Sure thing. All right, I'm one of you. Yeah. <laughs> Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Adios. I know Spanish. <laughs> or is, yeah. Sniper support. 
I got a trophy. What? It begins. Yay. Need a target. Taken out the contact. Marshal for sniper support. Sniper support in the weapons wheel. Select sniper target. Hold R1. Confirm target R1. That doesn't sound good at all. I'm sorry. I don't like sniper support. Interrogate the survivor. No telling what all this is after. We need to get to the safe house. Cool. Pedro Pan safe house is located in an old distillery in the southwest corner of the bayou. All right, let's go. Why is his thing still there? Drive to the CIA. Right. Oh, we've already got waypoint. Meet me there. Hello. Yeah. Here we go. We're here. We are here. Oh. Oh. There's a way in down here. It's usually guarded, but under the circumstances, we should be okay. What's the layout of this place? The primary offices are outfitted with a mainframe computer system. Whatever Alders is here for, it's likely to be located there. You see what I did to your friend here? Be the Agent. No. Good. Now let's go. God damn it. Who is talking? Agent, if we don't do something, then let's go stop. What is going on? <coughs> huh? What? Do I need sniper support here? I can't remember how to do anything. Like Mayweather. How do I get sniper support again? I really don't know how to get hit squad. Okay. Are you serious? I was trying to take cover. Take cover, right? Good God. Think I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, why is there good guys among the bad guys? What? Don't stick around. Just go. Thank you. Was that a part of something? Did I have to do that? Are you? Yeah, I help him too. We'll cover you. Move. Well, that was easy. Why? Another note. Twenty two, thirteen, forty three, six, eighty eight, forty three, ninety four, two, fifty seven, nine. Message Cuba supplying enemies with weapons. I don't know what don't know do I have to use that? Whoa. I can hit 
this, right? Or I used to be able to hit that. He threw a bomb. I need to hit them when they're throwing bombs. How am I supposed to do that? Where? Where? Really? I'm trying to help you. Donovan, what are you doing? Climb the ladder. Or swim across. Do something. Useless. Did I do something to help him? What did I do? Like, I'm assuming I shoot that, right? Or do something with it. Can you not climb a ladder? It's got to be something to do with that, right? Unless we go out and around. No, there's no way. We got a problem up here. Got any more buddies, I will get you. Could you come with me, please? Oh, look, he does. Magically just got across, right. There was a roof access here, was there not? No, I, th I thought that was a ladder. Right, got to keep moving. Surprised I haven't found any collectibles or anything yet. Shit. The security door. Together, together, together. Together, me and you. You have been in a wreck, man. Mind telling me why the CIA needs a compound like this in New Bordeaux? Data sorting, signal traffic decoding, all for the Southeast United States and the Caribbean. So snooping on our enemies and our friends. It's the friends who fuck you the what? worst. What is this? Why has this got a, a, a circle around it? What, what did I do with this? Seriously, what did I do with this? There must be a reason for this. I'm going to have to look into that. That's quite concerning. No, I didn't do it. Johnny? Oh yeah, John Donovan, right? What's it going to be? Don't tell that cocksucker anything. You gotta stand strong. Oh, it's easy for him to say when he's out there, right? <sighs> Show me where the safe is before I blow your. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, you fucking coward! He's gonna kill you regardless. Out of boy. <sighs> this is crazy. What's okay. happening? I thought this guy was a good guy, but obviously not.
jackpot. Fuck. Now what? I'll tell you now what. He's gonna die, obviously. No wait, maybe not. Maybe he's using him as leverage. Oh. So long, Johnny. Oh come on! I knew it, but come on. Maybe. Maybe not. So is this like our enemy of the story, Aldridge? Great. I need to look out for people that throw ball so I can If I was a key card, oh, here I'd be. Yeah, I found it. Found the car. What? Oh, what the heck? No, I'm not. Come on, I took out Lou Marcano, I, I, the, not, I took out Sal Marcano, I can take out you guys. Maybe I can't. Yours first. You're shooting through a wall. Thanks Donovan. Don't, t don't tell me I have to remember the code, right? No. How sad. Where did Al, Al thingy go? How did he get out? Surveillance photos, satellite imagery, and asset files from anyone who's come into the country from Cuba over the last 10 years. That's us, isn't it? Or uh, is it? Maybe. What the hell's this guy after? You know something. I've had my suspicions ever since Chucky said he overheard Aldridge talking about a plane. Oh. Balmana and his crew were piloting a plane out of Havana, but they weren't looking to defect. They were returning something that didn't belong to them. The CIA codenamed the incident. Come on. Ruchka, which in Russian means little girl or commie princess or some goddamn thing. Anyway, the plane's cargo was part of a Russian R-12 theater ballistic missile. Which part are we talking about? The thermonuclear warhead part. Well, this shit just got a hell of a lot more interesting. A storm took the plane down mid-flight. Balmana and his crew bailed. After 12 months of searching, the CIA considered the Vachka lost at sea. Nothing to be done about it. I'm about to lose my camera again. Unless, right, unless it wasn't. If Aldridge gets his hands on this, there's no telling what he'll do. All right. So if Aldridge took the files and surveillance photos to track this thing down, then we need another way to find it. What about Balmana's crew? If we could track down another one of the assholes that was on that flight, they may be able to tell us what we need to know. The mainframe's connected to a network that should allow us to patch in and access Balmana's files. Okay. Come on. We got it. It was a four-man crew on the plane. Uh-huh. Two of them managed to make it back to Havana. But Balmana and a man by the name of Ruben Paez came to the States. Where's Paez now? Whoa, yeah, they were. Looks like the CIA got him a job as a janitor at a department store. In Frisco Fields. In Frisco Fields. No way Aldridge leaves a loose end like that kicking around. The poor bastard's on his way out. He doesn't even know it. Then I guess we better get to Paez before Aldridge does. Come on. Oh, we're back in this part. 
I didn't expect that. These guys are dead, or one of them was. June, 1954. We went into Guatemala as part of PB success, and then we went our separate ways and ran into each other again in Vietnam. Well, according to these reports, uh, Mr. Aldrich was very successful in infiltrating the NBA. So successful, in fact, he cultivated several contacts that became double agents. Ooh. That's one way of putting it. And how would you put it? Let's just say you shouldn't believe everything you read. I can type up some bullshit on fancy letterhead. Doesn't change the fact that it's bullshit. Mr. Donovan, did you or did you not have contact with Connor Aldridge it's in me. the summer of 1968 in New Bordeaux? That cocksucker died in an alleyway in Saigon. I'm done talking about him. Ooh. So he died, right? I need to call this in the Langley. Meet me in the French ward, and we'll track down Pius. Okay, I think this is where we're gonna end. Hopefully. I'm still like, I thought I was going to go to some sort of distant thing. Uh, I'm not entirely sure of how I'm getting these trophies or what. Like, there's a phone that I could have got there somehow. So I need to figure out how to do that and I'll probably have to replay it. But anyways, hope you have enjoyed this episode. This is hell for me, basically, to come back to this awful game. This great game. It's a great game, but it's awful. It tortured me. It made me unhappy. And yes... It's going to destroy me once again. But this is me back in the world of Mafia 3 for the expansions. This is the first expansion I'm playing, which is the one with jo uh, Donovan. Hope you've enjoyed, and meet me when I do this again. But until next time, bye!